Steve, we just announced that you've obviously signed a new one-year deal with the Vikings. So what are you feeling to secure your future coming for another year? Um, Ned up, yeah. Absolutely delighted. Um, you know, I've, I've got previous at the club, um, but they were always short stays and short spells here. But every time I've been here, I've, I've absolutely loved playing the rugby here, so to get a bit longer, um, you know, I'm over the moon about it and, you know, I'm looking forward to the future. Yeah. You mentioned obviously you had a couple of spells with Midlands throughout your career. What does this club call me? Is you now that you've been able to stay here permanently? Yeah, um, I've said it in the past, it's my adopted hometown. Obviously, I, I'm, I'm born and raised from St. Helens, but I've lived over a third of my life in Witness now. Um, my kids are from Witness, and uh, it, it means a lot for me to, to represent the town for them as well because um, they've, ne they've never really been too interested. With rugby, I know that they're young, but since I've started coming back to Witness, uh, you know they, they want to, they both want to play rugby now, and uh, they're, they're obsessed with it. So, and they like they like to talk about it with me. So, it, it, on that side of things, you know, it's another thing to be proud about. Definitely, the club have obviously showed its ambition by securing Jack Owen and Danny Craven on new deals as well as yourself. How excited are you for the future? The prospects of this club going forward, given these new deals? Yeah, I think it was massive keeping them too. Uh, such such talented lads, uh, you know. Jack just can win us a game from anywhere. He can do something from nothing. And Danny's obviously been here a long time. Um, he's a, he's a leader in the team. Um, his kicking game is probably the best in this division, which gets us on the front foot a lot. And he's another top lad who uh, it's great to to play with again. How's the feeling to initially return to witness at the start of the season? This year after spending so long with Halifax? Yeah, um, I was delighted. It, it was something that I'd always had one eye on doing, but obviously being in Super League, I knew that, that was always out of my reach really, but um, since they came down to the Championship and then seeing some of, you know, Matty Smith coming here is probably my best mate who I've, I've known since school. Uh, Shane Grady came back here who had been with Halifax for a while. Uh, and obviously I'm, I've known Danny Craven and Jack for a long time so I wanted to play with my mates again and I just need, I think I just felt like I needed to freshen myself up and, and have a new challenge and even though being here before, like I said previously, it was, it was short spells whereas this one I knew was a, a, a genuine crack at it and you know, so far I've enjoyed every minute of it. Yeah, you go back to your first spell with Witness Vikings then, obviously come on loan from St. Helens in 2008. What do you remember of it? Um, I remember my debut. Uh, it was against Salford, who were um, top of the table and absolutely flying. This the stadium was round and close to ten thousand people here. Uh, I'd only signed, I think, a day before. I hadn't trained, um, and then and then I was thrown straight into that game. And I think we were losing eighteen at half time, and then we come back and we won. Uh, so that that game is not just a game that I remember because of witness. It's a it's a game that I remember throughout my career because it was such a big game. Um, but I also remember that year that I think the, the supporters of the club just took to me straight away and they was, they've, always, they've always been good to me whenever I've come back or whenever I've played against Witness, they've, they've always been good to me so you know, that, that was a, another thing to be proud of as well. How important was it getting your grounded here then obviously I thought you sent Helen down well with coming here? Uh, yeah, well it, it helped me massively because obviously I've been playing quite regular at Saints but not regular enough to, to hold down space and then if I didn't play for them, I was playing in the academy, which if you've played first team rugby for a little bit, going back to the academy sometimes, it's, it's not right for you. So coming to witness gave me that week in, week out taste of uh, playing against hard and tough teams and, and, and men. And, and you know that, that played a big part in me going forward. Yeah, it was obviously a difficult start to the season for witness, but performances picked up in recent weeks. What do you put that down to? Uh, no, it, it was a, it was an hard start to the season. You can't can't deny that. But you know, people don't want to hear us talk about we've had this against us, we've had that against us. Um, we've we've had games that we should have won. It's as simple as that. No matter who was on the field or who wasn't on the field, there's, there's games that we should have won and we didn't. I think we're slowly learning from from those mistakes, but we're, we're kind of still making them in the same sense. But we are playing a lot better and. Uh, I think it, going forward now, if we could just get the team settled, the squad settled, um, some middles playing every week instead of uh, wingers having to play prop and stuff like that, which, you know, to the credit, they're having a go at it. And, and 
I think that kind of sums up the, the group that we've got. But if we can just get a settled side, I still think there's a lot to play for this year. And it's, the playoffs are definitely in our in our reach. Yeah, you obviously mentioned having players playing those positions. You know, do you think that could possibly benefit the squad going forward with these players being able to play in different positions? Well, I don't think it ever does anybody any harm. Uh, although I played back row against Salford earlier in the season, and didn't particularly enjoy it that much, but. Um, it is what it is, you've just got to put your hand up for your team sometimes and, and crack on with it. Yeah. On your own performances then you've been a solid performer with fantastic kick of a turn, obviously, as you have throughout your career. You've kicked over 85% this season. Are you pleased with your own form so far this season? Yeah, um, I think my role has changed a little bit. Um, I've always just been someone who just wants to score tries all the time and, and, and that's, that, that's still there. Uh, still, I still want to score, but I think my role within this team, due to injuries and players going missing, has, has changed to, to someone who's more about getting our set started and trying to get us up the field a little bit more. Um, and it's a job that I've, I've actually, uh, you know, I really, I really enjoy it. Um, you know, getting my head kicked in most weeks, but for some reason I am enjoying it. Like so, um, all I can get up the other end of the field and have some fun up there as well, but in terms of that role, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, it was a difficult game obviously against Fedderton at the weekend and uh, won a couple prior to that of course. What do you think the team can do after this week's break to possibly climb the table? Well, I think the, the break's massive because um, we, I don't, well, we've not had a week off yet. Uh, we've been at it, you know, hammer and tongue all the way through. Um, Lads need a rest, it's as simple as that. Um, I think that would be good for us. Hopefully we can get some players back, get a bit more competition in the squad going forward. Um, I think we play a run of games now with teams that are in and around us and the teams that we have to beat if we want to have a say in the season. So I'm um, looking forward to it. I, I think we've played really well over the last few weeks. There's been some moments that have cost us, but if we can, like I say, get a settled squad, settled team and move forward, then I still think we've got a big part to play in the season. Yeah, I was just going to say, obviously, London Batley coming up after the break. How important is it to win this, beat teams in and around the playoff spots and try and get, get, get the team up there? Well, it's massive now because, you know, like I said, they're the teams that we've got to chase down if uh, if we want to have a say in the season. So, uh, everybody, go and enjoy your rest, do what you want, do your holidays, see your family, do what you need to do, then come back ready to play. Yeah, just a way of the family as well. Some of us saying so far, what happens to safely return to a full DCBL stadium after the break? How important have the fans been in the update of performances in the last couple of months and what would it mean to have them all back? Oh, it's been, it's been amazing. Um, you know, the start of the season when nobody was here, uh, it, just, it just isn't the same. It just isn't. And hopefully, like you said, if we can get everybody back in safely and get the capacity back up to where it should be. And, you know, I've played here before for, for Witness and for other teams and the, the players can be, can be absolutely bouncing. Um, so we're going, to, we're going to need that, uh, so hopefully we can get them all on board. Yeah.